Welcome to today's video, where we explore the most shocking historical events you've never heard of. Let's start with the Tanganyika laughter epidemic, a bizarre incident in what is now Tanzania. Picture this. It's an ordinary day at a mission-run boarding school in Kashasha. The girls are chatting, laughing, and joking around, as they always do. Suddenly, one girl says something hilarious, sparking uncontrollable laughter. Two more girls join in, and before you know it, the laughter spreads like wildfire. The laughter is infectious. Soon, around a hundred girls are laughing uncontrollably, rolling on the floor in fits of giggles. What started as a funny moment escalates into a contagious outbreak. This epidemic will spread beyond the school to nearby villages, becoming an infamous historical event known as the Laughing Plague. It sounds amusing, but this was no joke. The girls couldn't study or focus. They could do nothing but laugh. The teachers were baffled. When the students returned to their villages, the laughter followed. The epidemic lasted for days, weeks, even months, ultimately affecting over a thousand people. People didn't just laugh. Some fainted. Others struggled to breathe. Some cried or screamed, and a few even broke out in rashes. It was mayhem, pure madness, and absolutely no joke. These people were not having fun. They didn't enjoy the laughing fits, which lasted for hours or even days. They would get a brief respite, only for the laughter to return. The initial school had to close repeatedly due to the epidemic. Eventually, 14 schools were affected. Locals called it Endawara Yokusheka, meaning the illness of laughing. But what caused this strange phenomenon? The answer lies in hysteria, specifically mass hysteria or mass psychogenic illness, MPI, where a group of people exhibit similar symptoms with no identifiable external cause. These girls hadn't been exposed to any toxins or laughing gas. This was a psychological issue, likely triggered by stress. Tanganyika had just gained independence from the UK, causing significant societal stress. The students felt overwhelmed by the changes and the stress of being away from home. The Christian school's values clashed with the traditional values they had learned in their villages, adding to their anxiety. In psychology, this is known as conversion, where anxiety manifests physically. Similar cases have shown that repressed anxiety can cause physical symptoms, such as paralysis in a limb. This is different from crowd theory, where people mimic each other's behavior. Here the symptoms were real. Fainting, palpitations, headaches, and even fits. No conventional biomedical explanation could be found. Some scientists suggested a virus in the brain, but this theory remains unproven. This case of mass hysteria was unique due to its duration and widespread impact. For another example, in 1962 in the USA, Textile factory workers experienced a similar outbreak known as the June Bug. Around 60 workers fell ill with mysterious symptoms, all attributed to hysterical contagion caused by stress. Mass hysteria still occurs today. We hope you found this exploration of the Tanganyika laughter epidemic as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.